Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can combine multiple PDF files into a single PDF file. And also the contrary, how to split a PDF file into multiple PDF files. So are you ready? Let's get started. So let's begin by a very easy things. So as you can see here in my desktop, I have here three PDF files. So every PDF is actually, as you can see, a single page. So this is the first one, second one, and the third one, okay? So let's say that we want to combine these PDF files into one single PDF file. So, in order to do that, we need a program called Adobe Acrobat Pro. So, here I'm using version 10, but you can use one, whatever version you want, they are all the same. So, if I open this program, as you can see, so it's Adobe Acrobat Pro. So, all you have to do is to go to your, mail, to your uh, manual file, then create then you choose combine files into a single PDF. It's really easy. Okay. Okay, I will continue the trial. And now you have to add your files. So here I have three files, so I can just drag and drop them one by one. Okay. And I hit combine files. So as you can see now, I have built a single PDF which contains the three pages from the three PDF files. So I can save it whenever uh, name I want. So I will keep it Blender, okay? So here it is, okay. So I will delete these files. So now let's try the contrary. So as you can see, I have here a single PDF file called Blender or Bender, which contains three pages. So let's say that we want to break this PDF file into three multiple PDF files. So in order to do that, also using the same program, you go to your menu tools, Okay, and in the left panel here, in the pages, you choose split document. And here it gives you the options, how many pages by a single PDF you want. So here I want just to keep one page by a single PDF file. So I'll just choose one. And I hit OK. Has been so the document has been successfully split into three documents as you can see here in my desktop and everyone is added with extension part one part two and part three so let's verify that so the first one as you can see just a single page the second one and the third one so I create three PDF files from this single PDF file. So that was just a little trick that you can use in your everyday life if you want to manipulate PDF files. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.